This video is sponsored by Canon. Hi guys, good to see you again. Welcome back to the channel. Printing, as the thumbnail suggests, it's something that I am totally guilty of and I'm sure some of you guys are too and that's not finishing the photography process, the capture, the processing, the printing and then holding that hard copy in your hand and admiring your work as it should be. I have got literally, I must have 10, 15 gigabytes of hard drives of imagery, my own work, my, my landscapes and my, and my woodlands and my seascapes that's on hard drives and are still sat on the hard drive and will do for some time. There's nothing better than finishing that process. We all go out, we'll dash back, we'll download the images, we'll edit them till our heart's content. We might post them on various social media platforms. Yes, we'll get some good comments, we'll get lots of likes, and then that's it. The image almost dies a death and is never looked at for months and months and months again. You know, gone are the days of sitting down with a cup of tea and going through a photo album, because we just don't print. We just keep them all on hard drives. And it's something that I am totally guilty of, like I just said, and it's time to make a change. So I've got myself a Canon, ProGraph Pro 300 A3 Plus printer. I've got some various papers. I've got lusters and mats and, and Pro Platinum as well. That'll be great for my, my woodland stuff, I'm sure. So it's time to make a change. And I, I, I don't, some people might react in the comments below that this sort of printer is a, an expensive outlay, but it's no different to buying our camera kit. You know, we don't hire cameras, we'll buy the camera so that we can get the best out of our hobby. So it's no different really. So I've got myself a Pro 300 and it's time to finish off the process. You know, so I'm just gonna go through a few images today and turn them images into photographs, into prints. There's nothing better than well, I mean, downstairs in the house, I'll walk in, and I have got some prints that I've sent off to labs or whatever, in frames, you walk in the house and you'll see that image that is now a photograph, a print, in a frame, and it brings back the memory of that trip, you know, and it's something that is nice to look around the house, and it just brings back memories all the time, consistently bringing back memories when you look at different prints that are in frames, you can change them prints, and it's so much better than looking at a, a pile of hard drives, you know? I mean, I sometimes nip round to Dad still, and we'll have a cup of tea, and I'll say, let's get the family album out, and we'll go through, and we'll get, all them memories will come flooding back, and it's time to make a change. Now, obviously, with various clients that I've had that I work with, I will use photo labs. Now there's nothing wrong with a photo lab, but they churn out thousands and thousands of prints per day, and the quality control just isn't there like it's going to be with my own printer. I can sit here, I can watch the print come off, I can handle it with great care, all the corners are perfect, and I know that I can get that print right straight away, whereas in the past, I have had images come back, or photographs come back from the labs, and they've been a bit too warm, they've been a bit too cold. Some of the larger images, that's larger prints, come in tubes, and the corners are nicked, and I, I just can't sell them to clients, so I have to reorder, and it, it's just a bit inconsistent, whereas this way, I'm gonna be in total control of that photograph, that print, from start to finish. Anyway, I'm blabbering on, Without further ado, let's get the printer out of the box and get some printing done.
Right, that's the printer all set up and ready. All the software is uploaded, which includes all the different ICC printer profiles for all the different papers that Canon produce. But before I delve into the laptop and show you how I set up printing, I just wanted to quickly say that my monitor is calibrated. I calibrate it about once every six or eight months, just so that I know that 90% of what you see on the screen will be the correct colours. Now, like I said earlier, when I've sent off images to the lab and they come back and they're not right, it is frustrating because you do, you do trust that the calibration is going to be right. And that is why it's time to print my own images at home. So that yes, I'll hopefully this print that I'm going to print off shortly will be 95% to 100% correct to the, the colours and the tones on the screen. If it's not, I might just be able to tweak it a bit and have a reprint. And that's the beauty of printing at home. I can do that if it's not quite right, even after calibrating, I can run another print off. I can run some test prints off, you know, and, uh, and get it spot on at home and get everything done and dusted in one go without having to reorder at the labs. Labs are obviously quite cheap nowadays, but by the time, <laughs> I know in the past when I've had some clients work come in, I've had to order two or three times to get it right. Whereas now I know I'm going to get it dead right. And I am going to use this printer for my work as well as for my hobby. So yeah, anyway, I'm blabbering on. Let's jump into the laptop and sort out the print. Right, so as you can see, what I'm going to do first is create a canvas and then drag the image onto the canvas because I actually quite like a white board around the, the image itself for the final print. So A3 plus paper is 19 inches by 13 inches and we're going to go for a landscape. 300 resolution, white. So let's create that. And there we are, that's that created. Now, the image is already open. I'm going to drag and drop that onto that canvas like that. I'm just going to hit Command T, which gives me my transform box. I'm just going to reduce that a little bit. Now I'm going to go into view and just tick snap and then that will enable me to snap that to the center and that's it. Let's just give it a bit more of a big border. Let's go like that and snap that into the center. Let's just give it a bit more of a nice white border. That's better. And that's snapped into the center. Hit enter. Now obviously we've got two layers, we only want to print on a single layer, flattened layer, so we'll go into layer, flatten image, now that's nice and flat for printing. God that does look good, I can't wait to print this off. Right, let's go into the print box, so print settings, I've got the Canon Pro 300 series, I've got A3 Plus chosen there, let's save that. Now that's showing me how it's going to look, I'm happy with that white border. Now then, we want Photoshop to manage the colours, not the printer, so we've got that ticked. And then as you can see, I've already got the Pro Luster in there. There's all the different Canon profiles. We'll go and select Pro Luster, and that is it. My paper's all loaded. Let's hit print. Printer's waking up, we're away. Right, so while that's printing off, just a little bit more about the Pro 300. Now, as with the, the Pro 1000, that's got 12 inks, the Pro 300's got a 10 color Lucia Pro Ink Pack. And the good thing about this new 10 ink Pro Lucia Ink Pack is that it's got a chroma optimizer and it's got a new matte black. And that should ensure deeper, more vivid, enhanced black density colours, all being well. We'll find out in a minute because there's plenty of blacks in this, this image that I'm going to print off. And uh, yeah, it's got enhanced dark area gradation, if I can get that out right. And the reproduction range is far better with this Lucia Pro Ink. Uh, the effects are great. And uh, yeah, the, the overall reproduction of the blacks should be more dense, should be more rich, if you like. So with that chroma optimizer and yeah it's um it's going to be really good having this this uh, printer here now and i've got to start printing more and more and, I, and I, I can't emphasize enough that i can't wait to get this off off the printer and just hold it because it's going to be fantastic get it framed get it on the wall and then every time i walk in the house i'll be able to look at this image look at the print 
and uh, it'll just take me back to that that moment where I walked around the corner in the New Forest and I saw this scene and I just got set up and photographed the scene and uh, to get it on the wall is going to be fantastic. So uh, we'll just wait for the print to come off. I'll be back in a minute. Look at that, absolutely fantastic. And I'm not gonna to have to make any tweaks. The calibration has done its job and what I see on the screen is what I am seeing on that paper. That luster paper is lovely. And the textures and all the different colors and the atmosphere, it's all on paper now and finish that photography process. And uh, God, it feels really good, absolutely fantastic. Just have to trim the edges on either side in the guillotine, get it framed, and that memory is gonna go on the wall. And oh, so much it's so much better having it than just looking at it on a screen and then shutting the computer down again. It's there forever. Sounds good. <laughs> brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And uh, I'm gonna really look forward to printing, going through my hard drives now and, and bringing some images that I love. And that we, we, we just can't keep putting our profile pictures of our images on the hard drive and then just letting them gather dust in the darkness. Let's bring our work to life. And it's an absolutely fantastic feeling. It's an image that I've looked at time and time again and thought, I've got to send it off to the lab, got to send it off. And now don't need to. And there's no tweaking going to be done Absolutely brilliant. It's come off the printer first time. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely chuffed to bits with that. Oh, it's a bit of light on there, but yeah, absolutely brilliant that. And like I said earlier, yes, there is an initial outlay of the cost of the printer, but to get this size print from the lab, you would be talking, I would say at least fine art print. You're looking at 9.99 minimum. And then would I have known that what I saw on my screen was going to be exactly what I received in the post, not really. Whereas with this, not that I've had to tweak this time because that is spot on, it's perfect. You know, with this, I, I would say a pack of, just talking costings, I'll go into costings quick. Um, the printer itself, I think 700 pounds. So yeah, big outlay to start with, but it's no different to what we buy with our camera kit. You know, I've got the 5D Mark IV. What was that when it came out? Nearly getting on for 2000 pounds, you know, top of the range camera body. Once you've got that, you know that you can turn to your camera and you can get results, fantastic results time and time again. So yes, there's an initial outlay of the printer, but I think this has cost me two pound, two pound 50 for this print. A box of 25 sheets of A3 is about £35. Then you've got your ink on top of that. I, would, I reckon there's probably 50p to a pound's worth of ink here, probably, maximum. So that stands me at £2, £2.50. Now I know that I might have had to order that twice, if not three times from the lab, even though I've calibrated my screen, because the quality control, like I said earlier on in the video, these labs, they can't they can't look at every single image, that, every single print that comes off the production line. And, you know, I've handled that with care. I've seen this through the process from start to finish. And I'm going to start using this printer for my client work as well. Not just, not just my hobbyist work and, and my landscape work. There's no reason why I can't start using this for clients. And I know then that the client's going to get top-notch work. All the hard work that I put into the editing is going to come out on that paper and it's going to be perfect first time every time and uh, absolutely fantastic i can't wait to to go through my hard drives now and bring some more of my favorite images to life get them on the wall so that when i walk in the room or you know get the office decorated with more prints and uh, all the memories are there on the wall then so yeah i can't thank canon enough for sending out the paper and the printer Absolutely fantastic. Thanks again, Canon, for, for uh, sponsoring this video and supporting me on the channel. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend getting yourselves a printer, guys, if you can. And, uh, and, and get just bring your images to life with prints. And uh, I'll get this one framed in the next day or two, hopefully. And uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic. 
all the information for the, the Canon Pro 300 as well as all the other Canon printers will be listed uh, down below. Um, I'm going to put Canon Professional Services contact details on there as well. They are a fantastic setup. You can get on the phone to them 24-7. All their tech guys are there to help. Send them an email. They'll email you back. You never have to. I've, I've phoned uh, CPS several times in the past, and they're always there. You don't have to sit on hold for ages. And uh, the guys are there ready and set up to help you out best they can. And, uh, yeah, Canon Pro Services can't, can't uh, thank them guys enough. The backing that you get from Canon is second to none. You know, I know you, you, you're buying the kit and the, the kit isn't, a, it isn't cheap, but you get all that backup as well and it's fantastic. So I say, all the links will be in the description below. Click on them to find out any more because there's a lot more information that I could, uh, that I could list but would be here all day because uh, I'm a Canon man through and through, as you know, and uh, yeah, they've never let me down yet. So uh, thanks ever so much, Canon, for, for supporting this video and really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. Do comment below. Uh, let me know what you think. And if you've recently bought a printer or if you're thinking of buying one, I cannot recommend the Canon Pro 300 anymore. What a fantastic printer. And as you can see, proof's in the pudding. And there we are. Absolutely brilliant. Anyway, I'm brabbing on. I'm a bit excited. I'm going to dive into my uh, hard drives now and get some more prints, get some more images ready to print. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Catch up soon.